This program is proudly sponsored by GI Glow, Baker's Inn Retail Stores, Gray Homes, LeanGate, and Bachelor's Republic. Hello guys, this is the Chief Air Marshal Ola 7 Owen. Welcome to the Chief Air Marshal on your number one podcast in the land. The one you've been waiting for. One of its kind, first of its kind. Uh, the Ola 7 Show. We call it the Ola 7 Show, the podcast, right? So it is a brand new podcast in the land. And um, yeah, uh, a show that interacts with all kinds of personalities, uh, bringing uh, you unfiltered content from your politicians, your business people, your musicians, your comedians, you name them. And my first guest, <laughs> my first guest is one and only Rumba King, uh, uh, King of Rumba. I, I love to call him King of Rumba. His name is Juntal. So, do it net in but you know, born Farai Serima, popular known as Juntao Muma Streets, a rumba, Muma Streets, a music, uh, the kings, Juntao, the king. And many got to know of him through his hit song, Mutupo. Hey, as not a mama to point any guys, a number era tambo in Indo Ditama and Nasto Ditamba, but I need Zaga Wanda one Zaga Buddha in among my new one. Aripo again. So, let me just take this opportunity to uh, welcome Juntao on the Hola, Seven Show. Welcome, my brother Yishuntao. Thank you. How Thank are you? For having me. Welcome to the show. Much appreciated, man. And uh, appreciated. tell me something. How are you feeling, you know, to be the first guest uh, on the show? Well, uh, to be honest with you, I feel so excited. You know, you have, I'm, I'm, for the record, you know, man, I'm, I'm your biggest fan. Mm. Oh, really? I've always loved your work and I've always <laughs> wanted to be on your show. And me being the first guest on your show right now, man. Yeah. I'm feeling so excited right now. I'm so proud great. to be the first one, man. Powerful. You know, great. Yeah. To, uh, good to hear that. And, uh -huh. um, yeah, I, it really means a lot <laughs> uh, <laughs> to, to learn that you are a big fan. You yeah, know? you're a superstar. So, um, you are my fan. I am also your fan. Because I listen uh -huh. to your music, uh, and I love that one song, particularly, you know, the one called... Um, Mutupo. Mutupo, right. Ah, tell me about <laughs> that song. The comp uh, how you composed that song. How, how you came about with, with that, uh, you know, bang. You know, I, what I do believe is uh, when is your time and uh, God can work with you and you can just do some magical, miraculous things that you can even not understand, even yourself. So that's what happened on that song. You know, I never thought maybe that song was going to be a hit. You know, mm -hmm. when I worked on the album, I thought maybe there were some other songs that I thought maybe they were going to be hits. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. when that Mutupo came out, it was just a bonus track for my album. Oh, man. really? <laughs> ah. But, you know, I was shocked yes. to actually realize that... Um, it became one of my best songs in the in the country. That's really interesting. Yeah. And we got to know of Juntao, you know, through your hit song, Mutupo, that one. That's mm -hmm. when we realized, oh, there's, there's a guy called Juntao and he's, you know, he, what you promise him a fireworks, you know? Yeah, And for he's real. still doing uh, great. Yeah, for and, real. Uh, but I know, uh, you know, Jenny Akwe in music, who is Juntao? Well, uh, what I can say, Ola, is um, I started music back in the school, you know, when I was in Form 4. Mm -hmm. And I started off by singing so in R&B music, you know, because I've always wanted to be like Asha, Ney, or Chris mm -hmm. Brown, and all those kind of guys, you know. Mm -hmm. But then I realized that here in Zimbabwe, you know, there was a lot of competition because everybody wanted to be like those guys. Oh, yes. yes yeah. Yes. So as time goes on, I realized that uh, for one to become a superstar, you need to stand out from the crowd and mm -hmm. be unique. Mm -hmm. That's when I realized that there was a little gap when it comes to this rumba kind of music, man. I had yes. to learn music. Mm. I had to learn rumba. I had to learn the language, you know, the Lingala, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. DRC kind of language Swahili, and stuff like that. Swahili, yeah, yeah, you name it, French and all that yes. kind of stuff for me to uh, venture in this kind of music. Mm. But then... I realized that also that in the Rumba genre, you know, there was a lot of artists from DRC. So mm -hmm. what makes me unique? What makes me different? Yeah. Then I realized that for me to be unique and for my music to be received by the Zimbabweans, mm. I need to include the the mother's language. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shona. Shona, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, understand what I'm saying? Yes. And I need to stand up from the crowd, you know. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I had to put it up. up different genres for me to come up with the rumba kind of music that I sing. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of tread, there's a little bit of sungura, there's a little bit of um, beta music, there's a little bit of classic music, yes. jazzy and all that. Then I mixed up all that kind of music then I come up with my own music. Yeah, mm -hmm. people, they call it rumba, but yeah, 
I can call it rumba as well, but yeah, <laughs> it's quite different from what other people the, are doing. The, the ordinary rumba. Yeah, this is know. yeah, this is why when you hear when when Zimbabwe talk of rumba, mm -hmm. they speak of me. Yeah, Jinta. Yeah, because I introduce something that is new. I I know you went to uh, Seke High, um, so you're born and bred in Chitungiza. Chungwiza is my town. That's the city of talent, man. Chitown. Yeah, you know, that's where many superstars come from. I, I, I also come yeah. from Chitown. <laughs> you know that? That's why you're a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Chitown boy. That's why you're a superstar, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how far did you go with your education? Well, uh, yeah, I finished my L-level. Mm -hmm. I finished my L-level, but, uh, you know, I've always wanted to be a musician just because mm -hmm. it was like a calling because, mm -hmm. you know, I used to go to church every Sunday, you know, yes. and my mother used to force me to go uh, in front of the church and do those items <laughs> and stuff like that, you know. <laughs> you were being forced. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I didn't want to be the, the suit kind of guy, you yeah, know, yeah, what yeah. I, you know, but, you know, mm -hmm. my mother wanted me to be a gentleman. Mm -hmm. So from church, you know, I realized that, wow, you know, I've got this talent of mm -hmm. singing for real because, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes when I used to sing, you know, people could cry, yeah. people could lie down, demons mm -hmm. could come out and stuff like that. But it's only that I decided to talk a different path of music than I decided to be um, a social kind of musician, yes. you know. Yes. Yeah, so. And yeah. Uh, what was your upbringing like? Well, um, to be honest with you, I, I should tell you that uh, it wasn't easy for me to, to become a musician, mm -hmm. but you know, I realized that if in life, if you want something so bird, you really need to work so hard and you have faith in yourself. You believe in yourself first before you could, before these other guys and these other people could believe in you. Make, let them see that you believe in yourself. Let them see that you don't give up in yourself. That's how they can support you, that how they can upgrade you. That's how can, that can be a pillar of mm. your dream. So mm. yeah, it wasn't so easy for me to get supporters out there. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, I was just, I mean, who had faith in my dream. Great. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you decided to do uh, music as a career, what, uh, I mean, or how did your family take it? <laughs> wow. You know, it wasn't, mm. it wasn't easy, man, like yeah. for real, you know, because, <laughs> you know, this journey, you know, when you're studying it, you know, you need to be having connections mm -hmm. because sometimes the talent without connections, mm -hmm. you can just die with it. Yeah. You know, so it takes time for you to have connections with people like all the seven yeah. for me to be sitting next to you right mm -hmm. now, man. It needs for you to be a man. Yeah. You need to man up for I me to, hard. yeah, work I hard for face. me to be sitting next to you. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? So it wasn't so easy, man. It took me so many years mm -hmm. for my music to be accepted because I was looking for the voice. I was looking for the sound and it was so hard for me. Mm -hmm. And now when it comes to the family thing, you know, they would say to me, ah, Shamari, oh, you studied music long back, but your music is not being played or something like that. Why don't you look for something else to do? Mm. But deep within my spirit, I felt like I was actually designed by God to be a superstar and send a message mm. to the world mm. under the sound mm. of my voice. Yeah. And I didn't want to compete with God mm -hmm. because it was like a calling. You were feeling it inside. I was feeling it inside. You know, it's so hard, Ola, for mm. other people to feel what you feel. Yeah. Like, so I, 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 I kept on going. I kept on going and I asked them, no, guys, mm -hmm. you know, just give me one moment. I'm waiting for a certain period, yes, for a certain yes, time. Yes. There was one time that I, that I was forced to go to UK mm -hmm. to start working there. Yeah. But, oh, you, know, you were in the UK? Yeah, yeah, you know, but mm -hmm. it, it wasn't for me, man. It, it didn't work out for me. Mm -hmm. There are some other people in UK, they, they say, ah, life is good. No, I can go in the two months and stuff like exactly. that. Life changes for mm -hmm. them, man. But for me, it wasn't like that just mm -hmm. because I had a calling. When yeah. God calls you, you refuse. You, were doing you know, like, you yeah, got, uh, you yeah, know. you know what Noah did in the Bible, man. Yeah, exactly. yeah you mm. went the wrong route, you no, know, <laughs> and things were not so good yeah, for him, yeah, yeah. So that's what I did. And I came back to Zimbabwe mm -hmm. and I started, you know, focusing on my dream. And as I was focusing on my dream, that's when I produced this song entitled uh, Am I Boy. Am I Boy, yes. When, when I did Am I Boy, that was the first time when I scooped the best video of the year mm. in Zimbabwe. Wow. And after that, I scooped the best Nama National Award mm -hmm. in 2013 with the same song. Wow. After that, you know, all of them and all the people who were thinking maybe music is just music and the music in the Marombe or exactly, something like that, exactly. they started believing in me mm. because I gave them the reason to believe. Yes. And after that, they started supporting me until... But I want to know, uh, Junta, what were in your, your, your initial plans, you know, before, before focusing on music? 
to be honest with you, man, I was blank. Mm. I was blank. You didn't I, have any plan or so ever? No, I didn't have. You know, mm. I, I once wanted to be a, a cricket player mm -hmm. because I'm so good at it. I was a captain in my school, but mm -hmm. um, it wasn't my thing. I've, I've always wanted to be a singer, you know, after realizing that yeah. in church, that's where I found that, that I have this talent of mm -hmm. singing, you know, because it was a God calling kind of thing. Yes. So after that, I didn't want to think of anything other than than being a musician who will send the sound of music under my voice. Great. Yeah. And uh, tell me something. Do you take music as a full-time job or maybe you do it for fun somehow? Well, man, I wouldn't be the king of Rumba if I was taking music for fun. Mm -hmm. This is my life. I dream, I sleep, I talk, I breathe music. Mm -hmm. This is what I do for the real living. And music is what put food on my table, man. Mm -hmm. And I take it seriously. Yeah. And I would do anything in my power to make sure that my career is safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, many people got to know you through the song Mutupo. Yeah, but you're which right. one, according to you, mm -hmm. uh, would you say this one put me on the map? Ah, my boy did it, man. My, my, and boy? my boy did it because it made me scoop the best video of the year, man. Mm -hmm. Mutupo never did that. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, and, but um, it was a very popular song. Yeah, most popular, man, not only in Zimbabwe, in different countries, man. Yeah. Yeah, and also it made me uh, win the Nama National Merit Award. Mm -hmm. That was my boy. That was the beginning of my journey, man. Mm -hmm. So to me, I can say, yeah, my boy is my boy. Yeah, so sure. which one would you say, okay, this song changed my life, be it financially? Whatever, well, or my boy. Well, when we're talking about financial stuff, there, yeah, I can talk about Mutupo there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did me a lot, man. Mm -hmm. And people are still inviting me and calling me, asking for shows just because of that one song, man. Mm. I don't know what's so special about the song, man, but I just thank God for giving me such wisdom for me to be creative enough to make that kind of mm -hmm. song. Because right now. I've been surviving with one song for seven years, man. Mm. Can ah, you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, and sure. uh, you know, to think uh, that uh, the song Mutupo was just a bonus track from your album, <laughs> and now it's a hit. Uh, it became a hit and still a hit. Yeah. How yeah. do you feel? No, um, I feel that sometimes when we plan things, God has his own plans. Mm -hmm. So... I feel so proud and I feel so thankful that God has made me realize that he can make a way where there mm -hmm. seems to be no way. Mm -hmm. And he can make a way where there seems to be no thinking that maybe this is my breakthrough or maybe this is my time. God has got his own thinking. Mm -hmm. But I'm so proud and I'm so grateful that um, that song has taken me some places, man. Mm. And I'm still going some places because mm. of that song. That song. Yeah, sure. That's great. And according to my understanding, Shindao, mm -hmm. uh, rumba is music, uh, rhythms, uh, and dance styles. You know, <laughs> you know that originated uh, particularly in East Africa. You know, so but I want to know the rumba, according to your own definition. Well, according to my definition, man, rumba is um, it's a joyful music. Mm -hmm. It's a part of music, mm -hmm. music that can relieve you from stress, music that can make you feel alive, mm -hmm. music that can make you feel relieved, music that can speak to your spirit, mm -hmm. music that can speak to your mind, your body and your soul. And um, to me, it's something that is so, so powerful mm -hmm. in a way that I cannot even explain. Yes. So, yeah, that's, that's what it is to me. Mm. You know, Unose, I remember vividly growing up uh, watching uh, the likes of um, my videos, Anna Kanda Bongoman, <laughs> Coffee Olomide, uh, you know, and now we have the likes of uh, Anna Fali Pupa. And, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, and I would like yeah, to conclude, you know, Kutimanga um, songs, I know you can tell if you listen to them. Even in my time, I just want to so, I come to you know. So, is that the culture? <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, when you talk of dances, man, when it comes to rumba, man, mm -hmm. it's all about the west line. Man. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, but just because you'll be doing what you do with the west mm -hmm. line, you know, people will start 
think it other ways, but it's just a dance, man. It's mm -hmm. a dance that you can even do in church. Mm. You know, like in the Bible, David, and stuff like that. But yeah, that's what it is, man. It's just a dance, but it's just a dance. It's just a traditional dance of rumba. But many people, you know, uh, tend to believe that uh, the way you be, you know, making those dance moves <laughs> Uh, actually translate to <laughs> what you actually do in bed. Is that true? <laughs> you know, rumba music, it's a romantic music, man. It's, uh -huh. it's, it's sexy. Uh -huh. It speaks to your okay. body. Okay, I'm, I'm following. Yeah, it speaks to your body. So slow, so smooth. Uh, yes. So romantic, uh -huh. man. So everybody will drive their brains to think maybe oh no man that's that's, that's the bedroom <laughs> kind of music you know stuff like yeah. that but if you listen to the kind of music that i sing mm -hmm. I, I i i don't do and i don't have mm -hmm. um what can i say themes that ain't got something to do with yeah you know that mm -hmm. kind of thing it doesn't have anything to do with uh, <laughs> how you perform or how you do it in bed yeah yeah how it's i different. do it yeah it's, it's different i'm different from monafali and mm -hmm. stuff like that because yeah. i want to be in international artists mm -hmm. with a lot of respect mm -hmm. and artists with dignity mm -hmm. because the dream is big man yeah the yeah. dream is big so by by so doing those kind of things uh, you know mm -hmm. and stuff like that you know i know that it'll put me some boundaries mm -hmm. in some yeah. of the places that mm -hmm. people might need me exactly. you know i want to be a, a person who can be able to perform for mm -hmm. families yeah. man, from this age to this age to the old mm -hmm. age mm -hmm. so therefore i i, I don't want to include those kind of stuff you yeah. know yeah yeah and stuff like that no, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm not the kind of person <laughs> so is there like a technique that one needs to master to get it you know uh, to get it right the way you be you know but technique you don't master can anyone dance to rumba music and oh. and anyone can dance to rumba music man because mm -hmm. the rhythm is powerful you know, growing up, you know, 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 you I would like to introduce something that is simple. You know, I'm just wondering. Maybe some some people might be wondering. Uti, well, I'm trying to show you a technique, but maybe you can just do a simple me pigeon. A simple. Yeah. Is it zero? The move. Yeah. Lot of some guys. Yeah, it's very important. All right. Show us now. When we speak, it's simple. When we move. When we speak of room, man, we'll be talking about the worst line. So this is how you move. So, Jesus Christ. This is how you move. So now, when you move like this, uh -huh. man, you know, everybody will be driving their brains back <laughs> to the bedroom. You know what I'm saying, man? That is not, it's, like not, it, it's not all about it, that, it man. It looks like we're going to go chinamwali <laughs> or chinamwali. I don't know if I pronounce it correct. You know, chinamwali or chinamwali. But that's how they be trained to, you know, to move the waist. You know, when, when, when we are doing a certain type of music, mm -hmm. you need to learn everything yeah. about that music. Mm -hmm. I didn't grow up dancing, dancing like this, but I had to learn each and every step that has to deal with rumba mm -hmm. so that I can be the mastermind of everything that mm -hmm. has to do with rumba music, man. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk about uh, that song, Mutupo. You know, mm -hmm. there were rumors that uh, the song was plagiarized, you know, from a song called uh, Balaumba, yeah, by Ivor, uh -huh. uh, Ivorian Coast um, singer, you know, mm -hmm. Baby Philippe. Yeah, sure. Um, before you answer, let's listen to a snippet of um, what I am talking about. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Une nouvelle inspiration pour régaler toutes les nations. Baby Philippe, c'est mon nom. Tu veux ma belle Bibi? Le chouchou des nana, je viens vous déranger. Ami, après que vous ça va décoller. Oh, oh. Okay. What do you have to say about this? <laughs> I used to be friends with Oliver Mtukuzi. One day I was sitting with him and he said to me, Mwanangu, shaka kosha kukopa doiri, raganaka. These people are from DRC. That's the kind of music that I'm trying to invade in my country. You understand? Mm -hmm. And for me to do it good, 
I need to copy from the people from that side and put it in my own style. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Mm. I cannot so, refuse the fact that I had one or two things that I took from the guy. So yeah, you actually, yeah, I did. You, you plagiarized. Yeah, I did, mm -hmm. and my song became better than him. That's, that's oh, what I did. Even better than him. Because people from Zimbabwe, they don't even know about the song that oh, you're talking oh, yeah, about. Yeah, true. But they can start looking for it just because mm -hmm. you spoke about the name so of the person. So in other ways, you also made him popular. Yeah, I did, man. Mm -hmm. I did. Because judging from the views and stuff like that, you know, from the views that I saw before mm -hmm. I did yeah. the song, mm -hmm. you know, the views from his YouTube account started, you know, going up and up and up and up just because of my song. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because it wasn't easy. You know, my song reached almost to five million. I don't know, maybe it's, yeah. it's six million now mm -hmm. views, you know. So yeah. that's not a joking number, So you man. made money. Yeah, made so much about, money. about making money, man. It's, it's, it's where the problem comes in. Why? Because you know, five million is, uh, views. It's not a joke. You know, that time when I did the, them Tupu kind of song, you know, mm -hmm. I wasn't so much interested in the social media kind mm -hmm. of thing and how you can get money through social media and stuff like that. But there were guys who were clever than us, mm. guys who knew better than us. Yes. So they took my project and they placed it in their own accounts and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. those guys didn't make money mm -hmm. with my song. And um, yeah, it was really bad. But after did you, realizing did you, did you that, try to, uh, let me just take a bit, a bit. Did you then try to reach out to that guy from Ivory Coast? Yeah, he's actually my friend. Oh, you, you guys talk. And I'm actually a big fan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So in Zim Danzo, you know, so I'm going to be my beats, I'm going to read him, and my artists in the world, well, they all ride on the same, on mm -hmm. the same beat. Same beat, yeah. Uh, right. So I thought you were going to be on the same beat, or? Yeah, that's, that's exactly what right. I did. Okay. It was just a rhythm. Mm. That you used. Yeah, that I used, mm -hmm. then... You have crowned yourself king of Rumba. Yeah. Why so? I felt it within my spirit, man, because I have a royal blood in myself. Mm -hmm. And I felt that I was better than anybody else who was doing Rumba in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. And I felt that it's okay for me to call myself the king. And when I did, mm -hmm. I had a lot of fights with a lot of guys who were doing rumba in Zimbabwe. Ah, King, you could eat, oh yes, you could eat, Zakazo Daiso and stuff like that. But I didn't answer them, but my work spoke for me. Mm -hmm. And now they respect when they see me because I'm one of the most hard working artists in the country, mm. Ola, to be honest with you. And I worked for that name and I earned it. And now they crowned me. And now okay. I am the original king. So, should I say you crowned yourself or they crowned you? I crowned myself first before they did. Like I told you before, you need to believe in yourself mm -hmm. before they believe in you. Mm -hmm. I believed in myself before they believed in me. Mm -hmm. When I believed in myself, they believed in me mm -hmm. and then they crowned me. Wow. So the crown belongs I, I, to me. I, I, I know you are talented, but are you saying, when you say you are the king of Rumba, are you saying you are better than everyone else who is doing Rumba in Zimbabwe right now, currently? I am the best. Ola. I've worked so hard for this and I have proven myself and people have proven that mm -hmm. I am the best. <laughs> so, if we are to do rumba shows around <laughs> Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. you come to my show, a stack of people. We have the likes of Madiz, who is also into rumba. Madizi was actually one of my inspiration back in the days, man, mm -hmm. because Madizi exactly. he inspired me a lot. Mm -hmm. That guy is one hell of a burst vocalist. He's good. Mm -hmm. He's one of my superstars and I really should respect him say, and I appreciate should him. They, should, should they say, simply say, he's your king of Rumba? I am the king. You are the king? I'm just speaking of the people and that actually now inspired me. Uh, so I... <laughs> what are you saying now? <laughs> what the I'm saying... Hola, listen to this. Ladies, listen to this. You know Fali Pooper, right? Yeah. Do you know that Fali Pupa was Kofi Olomide's dancer? Okay, yes. Even where it's on. Mm. That's where those guys came from. Yeah. They were just dancers. Mm -hmm. But right now, if I tell you that Fali Pupa is filling up stadiums mm -hmm. and Kofi Olomide has never done that. Yeah. Do you see the mathematics? I see. A student can always become better than the teacher. The teacher. <laughs> yeah, it depends. So on if you are the king of uh, Rumba, mm -hmm. who is the king? The uh, king of uh, and the queen of Rumba. There is no queen. There's no there queen. is just the king. No queen. No queen. No princess. No princess. We've got the likes of um, Lady Storm. 
How do you rate Lady Storm? <laughs> Where do you place her? She is good. She's good. She's not a queen. If she works more harder, mm-hmm. she probably might be the queen. <laughs> King Jital. But she's good. On the All Our Seven Show. <laughs> mm, yeah. We're going to learn a lot <laughs> from this man. So, Jintao, um, the name Jintao is actually a unique name. Mm-hmm. What does it mean? It means a legend. I was given that name by my father mm-hmm. after I was given birth. Jintao means legend. It means which, a legend. Which uh, language is this? That's a uh, Liporkin language. From which country? Oh, from China. Oh, from China? Yeah. So, Jintao. <laughs> yeah, man. Ah, but it doesn't sound like it's a Chinese word, my guy. Juntal is Juntal is Chinese man. It depends on how you pronounce, pronounce it. it. Yeah. Or even write it. Mhm. Mhm. Okay. Okay, my real name is Farai. Farai, yes. But I can pronounce it this way. Farai. Mhm. It sounded like it's a French name. When I was in South Africa, they they don't say um Farai. Oh, they say Farai. You see. And I like the sound of that. Mm-hmm. I can even change my name from Jintal to Faga. Yes. Yeah, because I want to be a unique <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to change names from Jintal, Farai, Fahai. Faga. To, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's all about me, man. It's about yeah. unique stuff. Yeah, you know, so. I know that uh, we've got uh, different genres uh, in music, but mm. do you think uh, rumba music is recognized in, enough as compared to other genres in country? I am the only one who is making it recognized. Mm-hmm. Because if we look at the songs that I've introduced, let's talk about Mutupo. Mm-hmm. It was it has been on number one on the Power FM radio for quite some months. Mm-hmm. And it is one song that has broke the record that Yakambo Budam top 40 yes. and it was requested back. Doveano to get up number 1. Mm-hmm. So I can say, yeah, for the first time on radio, man. So I feel proud of that, yeah, man. And I feel yeah. that people are appreciating the sound of music that I'm introducing to them, mm-hmm. man. But the only thing is like, I need, I need more artists to come through. Yeah. To do rumba as well. To do rumba as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's people like... Are you uh, willing to uplift others as well? Like a lot. Do you have other artists under your wing? There's uh, one guy, he's so energetic. Mm-hmm. His performance is massive. His name is Dikapla. Dikapla, yes, I know Dikapla. He's based in South Africa, right? Yeah, he's in, in Cape Town. Yeah. yeah. There's also Lady Storm. Yeah, you were, we were talking about mm-hmm. Lady Storm. There's also oh, Diamond Musica. Yes. There's also Bana Dices. There's mm-hmm. uh, Bana Nguasuma. Mm-hmm. The guys are great. The guys are great. Mm-hmm. But it's only that I feel like they, they're losing it some way. They, they need to push it. Harder, mm-hmm. harder, because if they could push it as much as I'm pushing it, mm-hmm. trust me, there is no music in this country that can be played more than the rumba music. Exactly. Do our people understand rumba? They understand the beat. Not But rumba. just because I realized that mm-hmm. they do understand the beat, mm-hmm. I realized to sing in our mother's language so that they can understand the beat mm-hmm. as well and as the language. Language as well. Now, what we're lacking from these other guys, they try to be people from DRC. Mm. Mm. The beat will be nice, melodious, so danceable and stuff mm. like that. But now, when people try to understand what exactly are they singing about, mm. Mm. that's where the problem comes all over. Yeah. But now me, I come through with our language mm. and people will be like, yeah, man, Yeah. that's what's up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, what challenges are you facing, you know, in the music space? It's so hard, Ola, when, when you're trying to introduce something. Mm-hmm. It's like when you're trying to build your own thing. Yeah. It'll be so hard for you to find mm-hmm. supporters, promoters and sponsors and stuff like that. Vanu vano da kuzokubatsira vaona kuti ruvariere raboruma. No. That's so it's 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 so hard for me. Yeah. It's so hard for me. But I would like to thank all the people and some of the bosses around Zimbabwe that mm-hmm. I believing in the sound of my music. But even though they believing is like I'm I'm not having enough mm-hmm. support all the because to be honest with you if I can be able to have enough supporters yeah and enough sponsorship I feel that I can be able to represent Africa mm-hmm. not only Zimbabwe because I've got everything and all that it takes for me to represent 
Africa. Mm -hmm. But just because sometimes people from our country are not going to just to come to us. In other words, you're saying Zimbabweans are not giving you, you know, Marwa Ako and also, you know, they're not appreciating what you're doing. Zimbabwe and Asia are not sponsored. Do you feel Ola. appreciated? No, I don't. Zimbabwe and Asia are not sponsored. Kuva ku bora, ku cricket, whatever, whatever art that is in this why country. Is so? How, why, why are you even saying that? Uh, because I think like Vanerimu mm -hmm. is sorry kwa wana nyanyo tarisa kusineni art. Because they even support art. Zimbabwean musicians are better, much way better than Zimunika. So what's lacking? We don't have sponsorship. Mm -hmm. Hola. We don't okay, have in terms of music, what sponsorship are you looking at? Where are you lacking? Well, you know, as an artist, you, you need to be having certain things. Certain things that we don't have. Like, um, let's say I want to do a show somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's going to be so hard for me to cater for uh, the PA system for mm -hmm. myself. Um, to cater for transporting my band for myself. Uh, to sponsor everything that is needed for an artist to feel like, yeah, I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. You can realize some other artists can be invited somewhere there. artist mm -hmm. Sometimes Sometimes transport and stuff like that. I see you. PA system promise PA system disco, but he wants to play a with a live band. We are yeah. disrespecting mm. musicians. Mm. You know, we need to Is have... It not a, uh, an issue of um, management? Because I understand that, uh, you know, um, for example, I know for a fact, Kin, uh, mm. Japanese's manager, mm -hmm. is very, you know, uh, a specific the the sound. I'm not allowed to look. look if the sound is not like, you know, this sound and this sound, you're not going to, you're going to perform. Sometimes. He's the manager. Sometimes. It, Do you have the manager like that? I have a very powerful manager. Mm -hmm. A man with big dreams, mm -hmm. probably bigger than me, Ole. But sometimes, it depends with the name. Japanese, I got out of my show, I'm going to tell you. But when Juntao comes speaking like that, so ah, I think he got him both years. Could in this year, Mari, my band needs to survive. Mm -hmm. My family needs to so survive. So end up uh, just improvising. Do, end up and in the bride, and I was soon going to name a Jack to Jack and stuff like exactly. that. Could the Zipo such as a single reader, Ziperity in the Kumba. Yes. But I believe, could the Zimbabwe, you know, we mm -hmm. must have a lot of more promotional shows for artists. You know, I remember, uh, I remember someone on social media, you know, uh, was listing a list of uh, uh, upcoming artists and your name was mentioned there. Um, which is the upcoming artist? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because probably they don't know the work that I've put out there. Mm -hmm. the work that I've put out there. Mm -hmm. Because probably they don't follow me. Oh, yeah. But speaking about the people who have been following me from the beginning, they can recommend me as one of the biggest artists in the country. Mm -hmm. But which category do you fall into? I'm one of the biggest in the country. One of the biggest? After who? After everybody else. After everybody else? Yeah. So if, uh, if everybody else is at the top, then you're at the bottom? No, I'm on top of everybody. <laughs> because nobody can do rumba uh -huh. more than I do. Oh. Kanava Murugutivaka Pengava Jom Zimbabwe. If they stand with me there, you give them a mic, I have a mic. Let's do rumba here. Mm. Ola Rumba is one of the hardest music that you can ever mm -hmm. want to try. Mm -hmm. So I can say that I'm the best and I'm on top of all yeah. because I'm outstanding and I'm different and I'm unique. You know, besides uh, the Mbava song that you did uh, with uh, Amara Brown and Waste Management with Rocky, you know, uh, what you know, what was happening? <laughs> Doga nya ye sponsorship ye ole na nche taura ye. Ma sins anga shake. Ma sins anga mbo shake ole. You know, chino chino gone kwa ni ma Zimbabweans. Kugona uta apera. Alright, apera muruku fungi ni zazo kuta asimu ki adzoka pa maimbo fungi zira kutindo pa angari. They don't have the power to do that. Yeah. 
they have the power to discourage they have the power to uplift muno akasisumudza ega ega ava goni kuno kusimudza but vano gona kuno kudzikisa vano gona kuno simudza chakasimudza kwakare yes panonzi artist apera pa pa ma artist tinosangana nyama ups and downs ola kushaya sponsorship kushaya vano vanoti batsira one or two things kuti tishike pa level ra trikuda kudzikisirwa ne one or two thing ne one or two people vamwe vanenge vachizvita ma promoters acho they are killing those artists because mm. they are fake promoters they come in telling themselves that they are promoters at the end of the day they disappoint us mm-hmm. when we believe in those promoters as artists tinenge ta believe ane moyo kuti ano kwana mudara ningi ari kusaputa ma 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 artists shamara ari kuzodai munhu ye akakurasisa ola Some of other artists they are not strong mm-hmm. like me. Yeah. Vano vava dona mm-hmm. za chose. Mm-hmm. But she not around Zimbabwe mm-hmm. just ha kupiku akango juma pera adona. Exactly. Not getting into their lives trying to find out kuti chakazo mudoneza chacho chi. Ari kuwana here zvese zvari kuda as an artist for him to be at a certain level rari kufana kunge ari. An artist mustn't be stressed. An artist mustn't be thinking a lot. Fungwa dzake dzofana ngedzi chifunga lot about music. music. What should I produce to my people? What do they want right now? What exactly is lacking that I can fit in and send a message under the sound of my voice? Mm-hmm. But an artist can art show amari rent. Ni kuda kuti ari kushaya show. Ni kuda kuti kuri kuitwa mashows kwacho hakuna. Ni kuda kuti ma promoters acho futi akutori na. You end up wakona artist ra kutengesa kana ningirikini. Vamwa kutengesa eh ma banana. Ah, I must take a penga ka akutengesa ma banana. Wakaite yi wewe chakaita kuti asatengese banana iro. Nothing. So in other words you're saying uh, some of these promoters are being selective when it comes to picking artists. Eh ma promoters I know that chin chakabudira kudara. A promoter is someone who promotes someone from the ground. Mm-hmm. Not someone who's already there. You're promoting nothing. Mm-hmm. We've got they want to lo- make money. Yeah, they want to make money with you. They lie to you, we come in to promote you. They want to make money with you when they know that your name can already make money. Mm. If you're a promoter or like you can promote someone from the ground. Someone or go out any talent but rukushaya no risumudzira. Uyu adyara chibage but ari kushaya anosakurira, anoisa fertilizer and stuff like that. Those are the people that we're looking for ola. Not good it muno mtota kuti tina jati na wingi tina macheso mm-hmm. then we end like that mm-hmm. pane vanhu who can sing better than these three people that i've mentioned mm-hmm. but those people can never be seen because we young got no promoters here mm-hmm. they yeah. always looking for those people pane itwa ma big events you see those only faces pane itwa chakati urungona ma faces iwaye zvimwe zvacho it becomes monotonous zvino pesera zvaku bore because wakuti zvat performance ya uyu achadai wa achadai pane pacha dzose zvinyepedzera kudai uyu ane guitar acha zoridza akaisa kumagara acha zodai We are just that is what you guys there. It's no boa. But we've got no talent here kuti ikatisira zvino pa stage. Tinopfumba tama hoko so all when we can say wow oh my god mm-hmm. is this a miracle is this really yeah. happening yeah. but we cannot be able to see that new talent mm-hmm. as long as vana ivavo and vana ivavo tiri kuvadzvanyira pasi tichiti zviri pamusoro ngazirambe zviri pamusoro. Mupfumi ola ada kuramba ari mupfumi haadi kusapota murombe kuti agosvika pa ari. That's Zimbabwe for they're you. Greedy. They are they greedy. That's yeah, Zimbabwe for yeah. you. We so, don't support each other. Yeah, I understand. And um, you know, how was it working with Amara Brown? She's one of my favorite artists by the way. Well, what is my favorite performing artist? Well, that stage I like, you know. That explains me. Yeah. That explains we've mm. got something in common. Mm. That's why I worked with that girl. She's one of the best female artists that I've ever ever seen. Mm. Not only in this country. I can say in Africa. Mm-hmm. She's one of the boss performing act. She's got a great and amazing voice man that can speak to your soul. Mm-hmm. You know when I when when I chose to work with Amara, I I felt like we were going to create something that would would be a bang. Mm-hmm. And we did for real. Yeah. Mbava became something that's that's unique and people are loving the sound of yeah. Mbava. Yeah. And we are still looking for us to be doing visuals mm-hmm. for for Mbava. Yeah. But you know that Amara is based in South Africa. South Africa yeah. yeah, so sometimes it's it's hard for us to be mm-hmm. working like day and night, day yes. and night with her yes. just because she's up and down. But trust me man, mm-hmm. she's one of the most amazing amazing artists that mm-hmm. I've never seen in the yeah. country. Yeah. And just because of what I've been telling you, people they don't see her. Yeah. It's like people they ignore. They ignore the diamond. Mm. 
going for the I, 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 I love her new sound. You know, a few weeks back, I, I had a chat with uh, Amara Brown. She was telling me about, you know, her new sound. And she was saying, Ola, I don't think Zimbabweans are ready for this new sound. And I, I, I said, okay, let me just listen to this music. I was like, what, Amara? Woo, this is like, I mean, Hollywood, man. Even me, man. Yeah. Last week, I was with her at the rehearsal, man. Yeah. She played me one of her latest songs, exactly. and I was like, what? Is this really you? Yeah, yeah. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. She I can do some outstanding I, things with her music, man. Yes, I, I think if you push, you know, such music, I think it will represent, you know, the Zimbabwean uh, artist, you know, out there. That, you know. that, that music is mm -hmm. not for Zimbabwe, man. Mm -hmm. Because Zimbabwe, you know, does is a sound that not ready for that one. I, I, I said yes. That, that's but an international think, sound. But 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 if they can listen to uh, uh, the likes of Chris Brown, if they can listen to the likes of Rihanna, Beyonce, uh, Cardi B, do I'm you, sure they can listen to. Do Amara. you do you know why they listen mm. to those people? Because they know they are from Zimbabwe. Mm. They're not from Zimbabwe. Because you are from Zimbabwe, they think you're trying to. Is be, it self hate as Zimbabweans? What, what, what's the problem? Like I told you before, man, Zimbabweans are to go to Chataka go to the Kudzikisirana. Chataka go to Tamba in Zimbabwe. You, know, you, know, you, you reminded me of this guy trending. Uh, he was on a podcast in South Africa when he said, you know, I don't want to smell like a Zimbabwean. <laughs> <laughs> it has been attacked. He's been attacked on, uh, on on social media. Do you know why? Do you hours. know? Do you know why he said that? Yeah. Because probably he has been through a lot. Probably he has been trying a lot. Mm -hmm. But probably he have never he have never but seen to say, I don't any to support. Like a when he is I'm proud. Are you, are, are you disowning your country? Are you disassociating associating yourself from uh, other Zimbabweans? Paneva Jinja Ola. When I go on UK, South mm -hmm. Africa, and these other countries that I travel to. When you are at the Tower Shona. How do you change your language? You got to Tower Now Shona and English to Atuka. Yo. Because of some reasons that mm -hmm. we as artists mm -hmm. are facing here in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. In an Indian, a certain time, and I can't go with no man. Zimbabwe is not for me. Mm -hmm. Probably it's actually small for me. Yeah. I need to travel to another country. Yes. I know that my talent and whatever the package that mm -hmm. that is in me can be accepted mm -hmm. in some other countries, man. Yes. Can you imagine, man? In some other countries, man, with one song, it can change your life, mm -hmm. man. You can buy houses, cars, Very true. Very true. everything. You can do businesses mm -hmm. with only one song. Yeah. But the next time they see you in the streets, they say appear. Appear. Yet I just I simuga. Music is really special, and people they don't know that man. Kana mu chechi chai mu chai mu. It's so hard with my demona abodi tswe. Pasa de pamboro wa praise and worship. Because it's the music that brings down the spirit of God. That's how powerful music can be. Music can redeem people. Music can bring people back to life. Music can reduce stress. Music can. Speak to you in the times of need. Mm. Music can therapy. be your best friend. Mm. Music is a therapy, therapy man. Yes, yes, indeed. But and um, you know, you know, uh, I, I remember, and I was watching again. You know, I watch these things a lot. You know, when someone was say music can actually change uh, the behavior, even people's behavior. How far true is that? Well, in Indian, my followers are. Like a time ago, we imbanizu my drugs. This one on the follower, I'm going to tanga kufunga to drag raga penga. Dika tanga kuimbani zomari. They say they will believe in God. Dika tanga ku believe ane zomna Satan. I'm going to tanga ku believe God. Ah, but Satan in the end raga penga. That's how powerful music can be because yeah. music is spiritual. Mm. It connects with your body and it speaks so to your soul. It is very much true. Mm, mm. It is very much true. My brother, you were set to launch an album, you know, um, titled Mukuru. And the single Mukuru from the project is actually out. And uh, please, guys, do check that uh, one, uh, that song Mukuru on all, you know, um, uh, music uh, platforms, uh, on social media. You can, you know, go and subscribe, you know, to his YouTube channel. Let's support him. Let's support him, guys. You know, I, I love to support others, you know, to uplift others as well. That's why he's on this uh, platform. So let's support him. But however... Um, the launch didn't go according to the plan. Please, what happened? Explain to us what happened to the launch. We were really looking forward to that.
the devil happened, man. Mm. The devil happened on day. It was the best day of my life. Mm -hmm. I've been working so hard. I've been having sleepless night in the studio, mm -hmm. marketing the show. Can you imagine that I had to even put posters myself as well? Oh, just to make sure that the day was going to be a successful day. Mm -hmm. I had to buy new uniforms for my band, rehearsals every day, 24-7, doing all night rehearsals every day, just because I wanted to deliver something that was outstanding, mm -hmm. something that Zimbabwe will always be proud of. Because if I should tell you, Ola, I'm one of the best performers in the country, mm -hmm. it's only that people, they do not know that. Yeah. But if they do not know, they should come to some of my shows mm. and they will prove what I am speaking right now. I had an agreement with um, Magolis where I was supposed to be launching my album. At Stevie Magolis Resort? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said that he was going to help me. And the only thing that he was going to help me with was he was going to give me um, his premise, mm -hmm. the gate, and do what I have to do mm -hmm. so that I can market my album. Was it for free? No, it wasn't. You paid for that? For the venue? No, I didn't pay for the venue. Mm -hmm. He was supporting me. Okay. First of all, on the start is, you know, he had said that he was going to sponsor the, the launch. Mm -hmm. Just because on my lineup, there was Macheso. But it's very unfortunate that the day that I wanted to launch, Macheso was not available. Mm -hmm. So when Macheso told me that he was going to pull out from the launch, then Magolis had said to me that, ah, you know, man, it's so hard for my business, for me to believe that there's going to be a lot of crowd mm -hmm. if we don't put in Macheso here. So I'm going to pull out from sponsoring the stage, the posters, the marketing and everything that she needed to sponsor. Mm -hmm. So he had said to me that um, the only thing that I can be able to support with, I will give you my place. Mm. You get the gate, you do whatever that you need to do with yes, your show. Yes. And I appreciated him because he is a big man, man. Yeah, and I yeah. felt like... He has done me a favor. Mm -hmm. I've been working so hard all I I've even been sleeping for, for the past two months, working on this launch just mm -hmm. because I mm -hmm. wanted it to be a success. Yes. And I wanted to showcase the best that I can do, man. To my surprise, just a few minutes before I could start the launch, <laughs> mm. you know, my manager was told that, um, guys, you need to remember that I only gave you the place, but the gate belongs to Magolis. Yo! And you're like, what? I was shocked, Ola. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what I felt at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, I wanted to faint, like, I should just die mm. or I should just collapse. I was down. I yes. didn't know what to do. Yes. And it was like I was dreaming. Mm. I thought maybe it was a dream or something like that. I was really broken at that moment and thinking about all the money that I had used, square it is and I told him of just mm -hmm. because I had believed that mm -hmm. this that, that day was gonna was gonna change everything for me. Yes. Not only for me, but for my band. Exactly. Not only for my band, but for my music. Mm -hmm. And everybody else who believed in me. But I was so broken, I couldn't say nothing. Mm. I just got back in my car and I drove out of that place with uh, an extreme speed that was going to kill me on the day. You? Were you thinking of taking your life at that point in time? I didn't care about nothing else, man. Mm. Because I've been working so hard for this day. Okay. Uh, to Some of the people to get tickets. to at that time. So you had to, you know, give the people back their money. A lot of people had paid in. And mm -hmm. A lot of people really wanted to see me. Did they get uh, their refunds? I don't, I don't even know what happened, man. Because I was, I was never there. Mm. 
I drove myself to a place where there was nobody else. Does it not affect your, your brand in a way? People when, you know, people don't really care who the, who, whose fault was, who was. To say maybe it was Chintao or Magolis, they don't even know about your agreement. Probably they would say, no, uh, Chintao didn't pitch up, yet we paid. <laughs> You know what happens in life, all right? The bigger people, they don't always care because they've got businesses, they've got everything running. Mm -hmm. He actually said, if he doesn't want to perform, well, put my DJs, let them play music and let him go. Mm -hmm. I had so much love from a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. They called me, they wanted me to come and perform. Mm -hmm. And I've been working for so long, all I end performing for free. I, I'm no longer on that stage. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm trying to be proud of myself yeah. or something like yeah. that, but mm -hmm. I've been working for so long. Yeah. And I've been waiting, hoping for change. Mm. And that was my day. So since that day, have you managed to sit um, them down and uh, you know resolve um, whatever issues uh, you have amicably? No. Not yet. Because the rich will always be the rich. Mm -hmm. The poor will have to work so hard for them to be better than the rich. So are you going to do a relaunch or a, a launch? Uh, or you're going to just... Let it be. I'm having so much pressure from my fans, supporters and all the people behind me. Mm -hmm. They want me to still launch. Mm -hmm. But now I'm in a dilemma just because thinking of all the expenses that I've used, yes, yes. trying to make the first one work, mm -hmm. and they want me to do the second one in the same year, man. It's very difficult. It's gonna kill myself. Mm. Mm. You remember that, that guy who invited Econ here in Zimbabwe? Yes, 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 I remember. He sold his properties thinking maybe the show was going to pay back. Mm -hmm. But it didn't. Yeah. And when it didn't, just um, a few months, mm -hmm. then a few months, he died mm. because of that. Yeah. I felt that on that very same day. Mm -hmm. I thought about doing bad things to myself. Mm. Are you suicidal? No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm a very strong man, order, mm -hmm. and I'm a man who never gives up. Yeah. Do you still have plans? Maybe not of you know launching it, but releasing the album. <laughs> you know, my manager is a very strong man, despite everything else. You know, people might try to despite him on something like that, but <laughs> the day after that, he said to me, my brother, we are ready to launch. Mm -hmm. I always believe in him because I've always been him, with him from day one. Mm -hmm. Because I believe in him and I believe in the people around me because people, they want me to do this. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably going to do this for my fans and all the people that I disappointed on the day. Yeah. I know that a lot of people, they traveled from a long, long, long way. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, I disappointed them. And it's very unfortunate that I couldn't send a message to the world to tell them what happened. Because probably most of them, they're blaming me, thinking maybe... At least that is the reason why we have given you this uh, you know, platform to clear the air and also you know, to make it clear um, to your fans. Would you like to apologize or say anything to your fans right now? As much as I would like to apologize, Ola. If I was a billionaire, I was going to pay these people mm -hmm. for the expenses that they, they made on the day, trying to support me. People came in large numbers, Ola. And I didn't even believe that it was my show. Then the bigger man got greedy. He was like, oh, guys, remember, I'm, you're only using the place. The gate belongs to Magolis. Just because probably 
aindi ziki sira aindi tarisira pasa ida junta wakulonja ndia nano ya kuno but all uh, god did it and i brought people mm-hmm. like a lot of people so definitely i would like to apologize to all the people who came through yeah and to all the people who wanted to come who never came mm-hmm. who were sent messages that the launch was cancelled but i would like to assure them and promise them that mm-hmm. i'm still standing and i'm never going to give up just because of the support they gave me because these people they are like the drug mm. that keeps me going yeah and for that they have given me and restored the power that was taken away from me by the devil and now yeah. i'm coming back 10 times stronger oh. i'm stronger than before i'm powerful than before and we will launch wow that's uh, so profound from my brother here gentile so apart from music what do you do i do music you just do music yeah man nothing else at the house 24/7 <laughs> uh-huh. yeah i'm all about music man yeah yeah oh that's powerful um what a show with my brother here gentile so before you go what do you want to say to your listeners or viewers at home well i just want to say to all the people out there be here with me stand by me and i'm never going to let you down mm-hmm. And remember there's no situation that is never going to be hopeless if only God involved. God is involved in every situation of your life. God is involved in every situation of my life. Mm-hmm. Never give up. Be strong. Keep calm. Have faith in yourself and believe in yourself and know that everything is possible. Mm. Powerful. Thank you for your brother. Thank you so much for being the first that. guest on our show. I really appreciate that man. <laughs> Shaking your hand is such an honor man. I, I, I'm sure it's because not... I'm a super fan. Oh, thank you. I should you. say that again. <laughs> thank you. But I'm it's really not by honored. coincidence, you know, for you to be on this chair. It's not by coincidence. I'm sure it's God's plan and it's a temple shot. Keep shining. Thank you so much, Ola. Indeed. Much appreciated. That's my brother Juntal, Juntale Fahai. I got to call him Fahai, Farai. <laughs> <laughs> you know what to show. Thank you so guys for watching. This is the you know the new show in the land. The Ola Seven show. Mm. Guys, my one hashtag on the spot. Yes, don't forget that hashtag on the spot. We'll be giving you exclusive interviews each and every week and you'll be enjoying. And I want to promise you this guys, we have lined up, you know, some exclusive interviews from politics, uh, politicians, business people, footballers, musicians, ah, you know, and many more comedians, you know? <laughs> so your favorite will be on this chair very soon. And also we would like to say thank you so much to our sponsors, Begazin, um to all the Begazin team, Begazin family, we thank you so much for the support. Uh, so I would want you guys uh, to go and follow our Facebook page or like our Facebook page at Begazin Retail Stores. You know, that's one of our you know big sponsors of this show at Bakers in retail sponsors i am a proud ambassador and also don't forget that uh, anytime you wish to uh, refuel your car don't forget to visit giant petroleum anytime giant petroleum do what you can make sure you mon waka unleaded magaenda ku giant petroleum also the brand ambassador representing giant petroleum not forgetting kanamazo funga kuna kuchera zvibhorani Eh hey, mada kuchira zviborani mada kuta masola kumba magetsa ari kunetsa these days kuna load shedding don't for uh, don't worry don't you worry just uh, talk to the guys where GI glow GI glow you know bana ngota yo ayoka having solar you know <laughs> it's so cool to have a solar at your place and also i work one of my sponsors guys but i'm just mentioning your your, your names here guys also gray homes gray homes construction Mafunga kwaka dzimba ma double story ma mansions don't forget to call these guys where gray homes in our construction and also for now i would like to say many thanks to bachelor's republic for making sure that the chief air marshal is looking good always on point is because of you guys from bachelor's republic so if maybe you want to have a wedding whatever program that you have please don't forget to just visit and our friends from bachelor's republic you know i'm a proud ambassador as well <laughs> Thank you so much guys for the support. Don't forget to subscribe. Kwanas, bye bye. Cheers.
This program is proudly sponsored by GI Glow, Baker's Inn Retail Stores, Gray Homes, Leangate, and Bachelor's Republic.